So the tools that you'll need for this is a 14 millimeter socket and wrench, flathead screwdriver, and then a 14 millimeter wrench. So this is the clutch adjustment right here. It's a 14 mil. You're gonna stick this on there and you're gonna loosen it. Pretty much like, not all the way, but you're gonna loosen it quite a bit. It's on there pretty good. So once you get it loose, you can loosen it with your finger. So this one ain't been all, took off in a little bit, so. So you're gonna loosen it with your finger, not all the way off. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a Phillips head screwdriver, stick it in the hole of the thing and you're gonna loosen it. You're gonna loosen it until you feel resistance. Once you feel resistance on this screw inside here, you can screw this in a little bit more. You're gonna turn it in one quarter of a turn. Uh, you're gonna turn it in one quarter. So I know it's straight up and down. You're gonna turn it till it goes sideways, like so. So, until you feel resistance, then you're gonna go ahead and tighten this back up. Use this wrench to hold it in place. And you're gonna tighten it up with this. Cause you gotta hold that nut, cause it will spin it. I mean, you gotta hold that screw. All right, once you get tight, you know, tighten it up a little bit with this. It's the wrong way, but it's still, Hold it, tighten it up a little bit with your finger. And you're gonna spin it. And you're gonna look at where it's at. And then after that, you're gonna get it a little bit tight. It ain't spinning it right now. You're gonna get it a little tight. And then after that, you're just gonna get it tight real quick and then you're done. Basically, you adjust the clutch on a 300 motor. Uh, so I ain't showed y'all what the 300 looks like. Since I got it back with wheels and tires, uh, since this video is a little bit shorter, I'll just go ahead and show you what it looks like in this video. But I will have videos showing up what I've done to it, and I'll go into depth with everything. But this is the 300 how it sits right now. New Winterco 2s, don't mind the rims, I don't like them. But New Winterco 2s, I just got done doing the same thing to that engine, I mean to this motor, what I just did, what I just showed y'all right here. Just got done riding it so it's a little warm. That's where mine's at whenever I adjust the clutches. Probably will get a gear reduction whenever I'm done. But that's the 300. Uh, go ahead and start it up. Oh, I gotta put the key in it first. So I put a new gear, I mean, I put a new time and chain in it, and that's about it. But and it's got a brand new top end and everything. Rock lots on it. But how to i ain't seen too many videos on uh how to do the clutches so basically i think i'm the one that done it the best because i ain't seen no videos on youtube on how to do it besides you look it up and it basically tells you a little bit what to do but that's how you do a 300 clutch adjustment real simple real easy and peace out